Fokus en Zaak. Welkom to the, the vlog. Uh, I'm broken. I'm broken. Look, I know it looks like I've just been for a swim, but look, yeah, on the angle. 20.5 20, 20 um, kilometers. I'm aiming to run 50 in April, and I have a couple more days. No, it's the 15th of the day, so. But that was a 4k run. I ran one of those kilometers in 5 minutes 27. Bloody hell. To be fair, I was going like extremely downhill. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. Alright, uh, let's just get on with the day. Goodbye. I've decided I'm gonna walk outside today. Sun's shining and why shouldn't I be outside? It looks amazing. Uh, it's like two o'clock, so <laughs> I still have stuff to do. I better pack up my stuff. I don't need that, that. definitely. We should get going. Oh my god, look at this exposure. This is terrifying. Oh my god. <laughs> this is fun. Little field trip. Right, this is paradise. I just finished the edit of Thursday's vlog last Thursday. The one where I'm learning German. Pretty good, that's all done. That's good. Look, my dad is well today. He's in there, so. We've made a desk out of my boxes. I'm gonna let this export. I just need to do a few more stuff. I'm worried also that my laptop's gonna run out of charge. I'm worried about that. Hello, it's me again. I'm back. Uh, I just uploaded the video. I think I'm gonna write a bit. I'm gonna write a bit and then, right, I'm gonna get on with it. Because I'm going crazy just talking to a camera. And that's what a lot of people have been asking me, like, do you go crazy just talking to a camera all day? And, um, so, like, there's so much stuff I cut from these vlogs, you've no idea, like, I took absolute twallop. Just as I turn off the camera, something exciting happens. That email that I just received, uh, my student film Lemon Bar got runner-up in a big film festival, into film, they have a monthly film festival. The review is absolutely insane, so happy about that. Uh, yeah, that's pretty crazy. Uh, thank you to the guys at Interfilm if you're watching this. That's pretty sick. Alright, so I've just been writing a, uh, short film called Passion Fruit Juice. It's coming along pretty well. I've been learning a bit of John Lennon's Imagine. Yeah, uh, I, I forgot my dad was on a call. It's getting there, it's a bit rusty, as Josh keeps reminding me. Remember that jet washer? This is what it's done to my sliders. Look at that. Right, I know this vlog has kind of been all over the place, but I'm gonna make it it's so much worse now. I realise it's Wednesday, so it means it's Q and A time. Quite frankly, I've had to go to my last resort. I've just asked a friend for a question because it's not a lot of time out. The sun's kind of coming down at quite a fast pace now. The question is today, would you ever want to go to space? Yes. Q and A time. But now I'm gonna get on to what the title of the video is. Drawing a storyboard in, in little brackets. So if you've ever made a storyboard before, then, you know, congrats. It takes a lot of time and effort. This is my storyboard book. It's a moleskin book. I definitely recommend it. It's really good. A lot of you haven't seen this, but this is my storyboard book. I have over 40 pages of storyboard frames. Usually it has text down the side of like what I want each shot to be. So this is one from a short film I'm doing uh, with the one and only Joe Schofield. I uh, drew out the storyboard and I did the shot. Because as well as being co-director, I was also the DOP, meaning that I had to draw and write stuff. Yeah, here's a few frames from that. But today I'm going to be drawing out a page from Welcome to the Apocalypse and what I want it to look like. <laughs> Right, I'm currently standing here on top of my Xbox. So, moving on. Um, first of all, you need to get your dimensions because where's the... Oh, no. It's all fine. A erasable pen and an ink pen. There we go, not too ominous now. Next, what we do is draw out your dimensions because obviously you want all the boxes to be the same and then you get the same framing because once you start freestyling and stuff, it gets messy and it's, trust me, it's, an, it's a nightmare. The dimensions of mine are a bit weird because it's an A4, but I don't think it's an A4. So I fit four frames frames on each page. You can do more or less, it's just does not really. This is like perfect for me. 10.5 to the right. Ba -da -da. Send up the bed to Trevor. <laughs> nice for Max, you did really well. Okay, now you can see we have boxes. So I've done it in 16 by 9 aspect ratio. What's the tendency in films? Like 21 by 9 or 20. 525 but my youtube videos are in so this will be in two by one aspect ratio right next it's probably useful to you know get your scripts and decide what the shot you're going to do first like depending on how big the project is for this i'll probably do like three pages i just do the important shots that i want to remember and another good touch you could probably do is put down the gear you want to use for it label if it's interior with the location and what time of day and if it was shooting day you can go extra right? literally storyboards can go the extra mile 
All right, uh, hello, it's me again. Uh, <laughs> I've just finished the sketches. Uh, they're very rough. You don't need good drawing ability to get, you know, draw a story. You just need to know the image inside your head and be able to play it down. Uh, I'm gonna ink it in now, yeah? <laughs> Whoa, that was cool. Uh, I just did that super fast. And uh, here is the, oh, everything's dropped. Life's a disaster. Here we go. Yeah, here's the finished ink. So my next stages would be plotting colours, writing about it. But yeah, that's the first frame to welcome to the apocalypse. And pre-production has started for it, so that's pretty exciting. Uh, with that out of the way, thank you for watching the video. Uh, as always, make sure you subscribe for future content, and also feel free to hit the like button down below, it helps a lot. So yeah, without further ado, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one, and good night.